Points of light glow like stars in a black sky. The view draws back, revealing the lights glittering inside a piece of a broken crystal that glows blue as it sits on a table with a pike mask, a deck of sabak cards, and data disks. A creature's little hand reaches up and swipes an oval object with a scaly black surface off the table. Carrying the object in its mouth, the creature, the size of a small dog with three tendrils on each side of its gecko-like face, brings it to a young woman kneeling to the side of a doorway. Good boy. She pockets the object. I want that fighter stripped for parts by tomorrow. The woman peers through the doorway. All right, Nix. Let's go get paid. She sneaks up on a guy just beyond the doorway and punches him out. <laughs> that worked. She creeps behind stacked crates toward two figures on a walkway. Because he knows how to handle the Empire. We cannot trust those officers. They take our credits now, but what stops them from stabbing us in the back? The young woman hides as one of the figures walks away. Nix. Various options toggle on screen. Attack, distract, and press, which gets selected. Hit that button. The creature, Nix, dashes to a control panel and jumps up to press a button. A pulley system starts to move, carrying a large crate across the walkway. Nice one. The young woman jumps on, and Nix leaps onto her back. Hang on tight, little buddy. She clings to the side of the crate as it carries her over the facility, full of starship parts. She drops onto the lowest level near a thruster and stays low as she moves among the spare parts. A Rodian points a gun at her. A subtitle reads, Hired gun, in Hatties. What are you doing? Uh, I was just leaving. Blast her! The young woman draws her own blaster, shooting down the Rodian. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. The young woman runs up a ramp as explosions rock the lowest level. Red emergency lights flash on the next floor, where an enemy activates a shield. Shield! An option appears, blaster or focused, which selects. She fires, disabling the shield and knocking out the enemy. As blaster fire comes at her from multiple directions, she ducks behind a barrier before firing back. Hey, Nick! Catch! She fires at something near a TIE fighter on a scaffolding platform, causing an explosion. This is getting bad! She shoots onto the lower level, where two enemies firing at her take cover. She takes out one enemy, then shoots at the other. An option appears. Pick up. Let's try this out! She opens fire with a blaster rifle, causing an explosion that sends people flying. Dick Ferrick! Stop her! She tosses the spent rifle and runs for an open dock. Throwing a cable onto a mechanical arm, the young woman lowers herself out of the facility with Nyx on her back. I think that went pretty well, right? Still under fire, she hops on a speeder bike and heads across rocky terrain until she outruns the attack. Racing over a plateau, she catches air, finding two pursuers up ahead. Oh, these guys don't quit! Maneuvering between them, the young woman pulls ahead on a dirt road. Hang on! On the back of her bike, Nyx looks behind them. The pursuers overtake her, then the view slows as the young woman draws her blaster. She fires on one pursuer, then the second, causing him to crash into a rock formation. That was close. She hugs the dirt road's curves. Andy Five, I got the package. Where are you? We were waiting for you in Jonta's Hope. Were you seen? I said I got it. What else matters? Should I assume we won't be working for the Pikes anytime soon? Um, well, they'll probably forgive me. Comforting. The young woman steers around a rider going in the opposite direction as she heads toward a town. There's Jonta's Hope. We made it, Nix. She drives beneath an arched entrance with letters hanging from above. Parking her bike, she hops off and stares toward a circular building. Text appears, Janta's Hope, Toshara. She waits for a speeder to pass before crossing the road. Breaking into a jog, she goes by a twilight woman leaning against a post. Weathered doors slide open for the young woman and Nyx to enter a dimly lit cantina where they approach a humanoid droid wearing a long coat at the bar. Hey, Andy. You're late, Kay. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. A bouncer stops them. A subtitle reads, Bouncer in Hatties, not the droid. What? Be careful. Doc is a broker, not a friend. 
She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. Downstairs, Kay passes through a beaded curtain into a private area where a hologram shows a fight. Amon Calamari, wearing a popped collar and layers of necklaces, sits with an Imperial officer. Round two and I still like my odds. Her companion nods toward Kay as she approaches their table. Kay Vess. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. Join us. Kay sets down the black object as she sits. Job was more complicated than you said, Danka. You lived. Danka opens the object, revealing shifting mushroom-like plants growing inside. Nyx leans in close. Hey, he's on toys. Nyx backs down, and Danka plucks one of the plants. They're investments. The officer holds out her gloved hand expectantly, and Danka gives her the plant, then pays Kay. Wait, we haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to if you're smart. Two options appear, bribe or do not bribe. The latter is selected. Thanks, but I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Kate Whoa. draws her blaster. Let's just relax. The officer holds up a comm link. You won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. Backing away from the table, Kay holsters her weapon and strides through the beaded curtain. As she arrives back upstairs, her image appears on screens throughout the establishment. All troopers, we have reports of a fugitive in Georgia's Hope. Move to apprehend. Kay runs outside. That Imperial announcement wouldn't be about you, would it? Uh, could be. I told you not to trust her. Not the first time we've outrun the Empire. With Nyx running at her side, Kay sprints up a ramp onto a landing pad. They hurry up a ship's open ramp, and once inside, make a beeline for the cockpit, where ND5 waits in the co-pilot's seat. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. As Kay sits in the pilot's chair, options appear over the seat, controls, and navigation computer. The ship lifts off coasting clear of the landing pad before accelerating in an upward trajectory into the cloudy blue sky. The ship passes into a cloud, the thrusters glowing through the surrounding haze as the craft ascends. The haze clears as they leave the atmosphere. They arrive near disabled ships and floating debris. Text reads, Toshara Orbit, Toshara System. Are we good? Nothing on the sensors, yet. Suddenly, firing ships close in on them. Anybody on the sensors now? Tie fighters on us. Near the wreckage of a ship, K fires back. Got one. I feel inclined to remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. K flies through a hole in a giant piece of the disabled ship, emerging in a thick debris field. Another ship fires on them. Kay accelerates between two halves of another large piece of wreckage for cover. As her ship coasts back into the open, an enemy vessel appears out of hyperspace. ND, get us out of here. Stealing hyperdrive. Kay's ship barrel rolls to the side to avoid a blast. Let's jump. Stars stretch into streaks of light as the ship makes the jump to hyperspace. It emerges near an asteroid field above a gray planet. Akiva Orbit, Akiva System. <sighs> we made it. Text appears, quest completed, the broker. Curving lines resembling parentheses framing the ship center on the planet. On board, Nyx leans his front legs against Kay's seat and she invites him onto her lap. He hops up and she pets him. Hey. She pulls one of the plants out of her pocket and eyes its bulbous purple top. Got your new toy. Nyx happily holds it between his teeth. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. Nyx jumps out of her lap, and Kay pushes the ship's throttle forward. Nyx leaps onto the back of the captain's seat as they weave through the asteroid field toward the planet. Seen from behind, Kay finds herself surrounded and puts up her hands, but draws her blaster as someone fires at her. She ducks into a doorway. Later, she sees people fleeing and steps out to find an ATST towering over her. 
Various views follow Kay through different environments, including a snowy street, an arid town, and an industrial facility with ND5. Now, Kay sneaks through a hangar swarming with stormtroopers. In a corridor, she shoots down a trooper, then bashes into a second. A TIE fighter chases Kay's ship out of an exploding hangar. Star Wars Outlaws, coming 2024. StarWarsOutlaws.com